If you're having trouble with certain things showing up within your MPC Beat software, I'm gonna help you out in this video and help you troubleshoot a couple things. So if you're not seeing everything on the screen inside of MPC Beats, um, it could be a few things like your screen resolution, you might not have it in advanced mode, you might have certain views disabled. So I'm gonna to try to troubleshoot this with you. Now, I've done a couple videos about MPC Beats and I'm using the screen resolution of 1080. So that's gonna be full HD. The first tip I have is to adjust your screen resolution to the highest resolution that it could possibly get. If you're using a laptop, you might not have access to 1080, so that could be part of the issue. Um, if you're using a screen that's smaller and it doesn't have a higher resolution, that could be an issue. But you might be able to change your settings, so I wanna show you what I mean here. So if you look at the MPC Beat software, this is what it looks like in 1080. All right, so this is how I've been recording my videos. And you can see right there. So let me show you this. So let me open this screenshot I took earlier, right? So what I did is I put the resolution of my monitor to the lowest setting, and this is what it looks like. And you can see the grid isn't showing up. Um, there's just a bunch missing. It just kind of looks like a mess, okay? And you know, that's the lowest setting, right? And you can see this is the next setting up. Now we're starting to see the grid, okay? And then the next resolution setting, you can see a little more and so on. This is what it looks like in 1080p. So let me show you how to get to these settings. I think the easiest way is to right click, pr press display settings. Um, you might need to come down here, you know, and go to your settings. You know, you can go to your settings here. But if you do what I just showed you, just right click on your screen, go to display settings. Display resolution is right here. You can see it is on 1080. And that first picture I showed you was 800 by 600. And if I have it on that, it's not gonna look good, right? If I keep it on 1080p, I'm gonna see more. Pick the highest setting that you can so you can see more things on the screen. So that's the first tip that I have is to adjust your screen resolution to the highest resolution that you can. Okay, so we got our screen resolution to the highest setting. Hopefully, you know, you're able to see more if you did that. There's a few other things that you should probably do. If you look right here, if you click this hamburger menu, right, it's just the menu to the far left. And then if you go to views, we got a bunch of different views that we could choose from. So when I did those videos, I was in main mode. This is main mode now. Um, you could pick different views here. But generally, you know, you go back to main mode to kind of be able to see everything you're doing on your specific track. But what I want to show you is this right here. When you set this up, you might have clicked simple. I recommend that you click advanced so you can see more of the options. So right here, if you put your workspace on simple, you can see a lot of stuff starts to disappear on the screen. If we go back to that, go to view, put our workspace on advanced, it opens things back up, okay? And we can see a lot more. So tip number two is to go to your views menu and turn it on to advanced mode. Now tip three is, if you look in views as well, there's a bunch of stuff. So if you look right here in toolbars, um, you might have some of this stuff unchecked, right? So if I uncheck show modes, it takes all those modes away, right? <laughs> Which is not ideal. I want to see those modes because I want to be able to go to sample edit or, you know, different things like that. So let's go to our toolbar and just show. Okay. And then again, you know, there's a lot of things in here, right? So um, you could pick the different things you want to choose, you know, show on your tool toolbar. So if you never use the looper, you could take the looper off your toolbar, things like this. So go ahead and just go through this and you can click things off or on as you like. You know, it's gonna be up to you in your specific workflow. All right, so there you go. This is my next tip is to just go through the views menu and select things and just start to show things. And you might find more options that you're not aware of. For example, if I go to my toolbar, I can actually turn off the show metronome. Right, and if I turn that off, you can see the metronome disappears, which, you know, you, maybe you never use the metronome, maybe you don't want it. But I happen to use the metronome, so I want to see that, right? Show metronome, okay? 
So that's the next tip. Go ahead and turn things on and off individually within your views menu. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is you can see up here, um, you know, we got options in the different views, right? We got these options here. We got these options here. Some of those options you could turn on and off within the interface directly. So you might be clicking around on the interface and you might click something and turn something off. And then, you know, you might not even realize that you did it. And when you come back to that thing, you might wonder where it's at. So you just kind of got to um, be patient with it and figure out what you turn on and off. So for example, right here, our MIDI tracks, you might go to audio tracks. And then when you're in audio tracks, it's like, okay, where did my pads go? You can see the pads kind of disappeared down here, right? But if you go back to MIDI tracks, you know, the pads show up again. Some of the stuff I'm showing you is going to be dependent on how you have your settings. But, you know, in general, you know, this, these are some of the things you have to pay attention to. Like right here, there's a drop down menu, right? So I can show how many bars are in this sequence. I can hide that right here. I can hide the track, you know, what kind of track it is. So if I don't, if I don't want to change the drum program, like say, I no, I'm not going to use a plugin program. You know, I can hide that. Um, you got different things down here. You know, like your insert effects. And one thing I want to show you is down here, you can show or hide the inspector. So if you don't even see that inspector down here at the bottom left, you can show or hide it. And then there's different menus down here. Like if I just want to see the channel strip for a pad, I can click that. If I only see a channel strip for the whole program, I can click that. That's going to be for the entire drum program. If I want to see it right here for the MIDI channel, I can click that. That's going to show the volume of the MIDI channel. Okay, now over here, you know, we got our bottom panels. We can show or hide the bottom panel. All right, so somebody was like, where did my pads go? Well, maybe you click up to this, right? And it hid those. Um, you know, you can show your piano roll down here. You can show the mixer by clicking this one. So you, you can really got to explore this, okay? And then over here, you got your pads, so you can hide your pads right there. You can show your pads. You can hide your cue links. You can show your cue links. All right. Up here, you got our grid view. We got our wave view. We got our list view. So you can show and hide these different things right there as well. So that's the next tip is to actually look at the interface and see what you do have selected. All right. So eventually some of this is going to become second nature. As you spend time in here, you'll realize what modes you like to work in. And if you have things turned on and off, you'll be able to recognize it quickly. I hope this video has helped. I'm gonna put a playlist right here. It's gonna be kind of like a troubleshooting playlist for MPC Beats and the, uh, you know, the Akai MPK Mini. So if you do wanna check that out, check that out. And um, there might be something in there that might help you out. My name is Matthew, continue creating music. We'll talk soon.